Because one thing that will take us to the next level is to attract more technologists to D.C. And even attract more companies. Uh, because one thing we know about you, I know you want to keep all of your employees forever, like I do. But people move around. And where that's good, where there's opportunity and places uh, to move up, we will continue to grow uh, our tech scene. Uh, and I, I, I was teasing Vikram a little bit, but one of the reasons why we have so many smart engineers and computer scientists and technologists in D.C. now is because a lot of them work for the federal government or contractors. Uh, and we want them to share that, that information across the Fed sector to the private sector to local government as well. Uh, and I know that, that we can do it in all kinds of, of fun ways. Uh, and all kinds of ways to involve D.C. residents. Uh, so there are a lot of problems in, um, in when you're in local government. So, I, I, you know, we've been dealing with one. Mother Nature sent us a oh, blessing. Uh, and I, you may not even know the amount of kind of, uh, I put in a war room a bunch of technologists to really come up with solutions about how to deal with basic government uh, problems. So for people who have been doing things one way, there goes one, Andrew, give him a round of applause, because he created it. <laughs> so we have him in DIMPED, and uh, we were all trying to come up with the best, uh, easiest ways to track our progress so that they could explain it to me and I could explain it to the people. Uh, and so we, we had set a set technologist down with the people who are actually moving the snow, and that's how we came up with the solutions. Uh, and so the next time we have it, we'll be even better prepared to use our resources more efficiently. There are other things, uh, like we, we technolo set technologists loose on transportation issues.